Imagine this, you've just been hired as a firefighter and you've been assigned your first task to go into your neighbor's house to locate and search for their entire family. Now on the surface this probably seems like a pretty simple task. Well let's take this simple task and turn it into a house fire. This will add extreme heat, reduce your visibility due to smoke, increase physical stress, elevate your anxiety levels, and also limit the amount of air you can breathe to 20 minutes. On top of all this, you must wear 50 pounds of firefighting clothing that not only traps heat in, but also increases your core temperature to uncompensable levels. Now I want you to ask yourselves, does this still sound like a pretty simple task? Well, we've taken this simple task and turned it into an extremely difficult and dangerous environment. Data from the United States reveals that in these types of scenarios, approximately 100 firefighters will lose their lives each year while on the job. Now this research study uh, was to examine the effects of heat stress on cognitive function in firefighters in order to minimize these risks. We recruited 19 firefighters to UIT's Automotive Center of Excellence's climate chamber to perform treadmill walking wearing full fire protective clothing in a heated environment of 35 degrees Celsius and 50% humidity. Now at specific points of increasing core temperature, cognitive function was assessed using five tests from the CANTAB computerized cognitive assessment battery as seen in the top right panel that evaluated working memory capacity, visual and new learning, executive function, and attention. Now these tests were chosen based on the type and nature of decisions that are required of firefighters on the job. So what did our study find, you're probably asking. Well, the data revealed that impairments in cognitive function occurred when firefighters' core temperatures reached a level of 38.5 degrees Celsius. Now with this new information, if we combine it with previous research looking at the effects of tolerance times on firefighters working in the heat, this will provide fire chiefs the ability to determine how long a firefighter can actually work in the heat until his or her core temperature reaches a level of 38.5 degrees Celsius, which would result then in impairments in cognitive function and ultimately increase the risk of injury or death while on the job. Now the next step in this research is to develop a video game simulation as seen in the bottom middle panel that can recreate the specific types of decisions that are required of firefighters at any emergency scenario to better assess and train their cognitive function. Now utilizing video game technology is the future of training in the fire services to improve decision making skills of firefighters at any emergency scenario to not only make firefighting a safer occupation but to also improve the performance of firefighters and ultimately make our local communities a safer place to live. Thank you.